So the Bioforest has come about due to an enormously generous gift uh, to the University of Birmingham, 15 million pounds uh, to allow us to establish an institute of forest research and to undertake some really exciting research. The unique aspect of the experimental facility that we are planning to build is based on an experimental technique called FACE for short, which stands for Free Air Carbon Dioxide Enrichment. So it's got a silent D in it in the acronym. And what that means is that we find a way, a clever way, of exposing trees in a woodland setting like this to slightly increased carbon dioxide levels without changing anything else. The reason that we want to add CO2 to our patch of forest is of course because, as every school kid knows, plants grow by taking up carbon dioxide and by the action of sunlight they turn that carbon dioxide into sugars and the plant then grows. We also know that we are changing the amount of carbon dioxide in the atmosphere as a result of our fossil fuel burning. So there is a really pressing need for us to understand how the plants are going to react to having this extra CO2 around. So in practicality, what this experiment will look like is some quite complicated and quite big plumbing going into this woodland. Now this plumbing will be based around six ring structures and each ring structure will be as high as the tallest tree in the, inside the ring and 30 metres in diameter. So it's quite a big piece of plumbing. And inside the ring, we will be taking very careful wind measurements and pumping air with our extra carbon dioxide in it out in such a way that it goes into the ring and not out the back end of the ring. What consequences do we expect the experiment to exhibit? Well, if it was just a case of extra carbon dioxide, meaning extra photosynthesis and the plants growing, then we would already know the answer. But of course, it's not that simple. It's not that simple because we're dealing with a complicated ecosystem, not with a single leaf. So certainly, the plants will take up the carbon dioxide, they'll turn it into sugar, and then what? One of the things we think might happen is that they'll actually trade that sugar with microbes in the soil for things that the microbes have that the trees don't have. And that trading will determine where the carbon ends up and whether the carbon actually ends up being stored in the ground or in the trees. This is the climate experiment that I personally have been dreaming of, that my colleagues in the University of Birmingham have been longing for, and actually that a whole network of researchers right across the globe have been waiting to get their hands on. So we are in a tremendously privileged position. Why does everyone care so much? Well, it's because to understand the push that we are giving the earth due to our fossil fuel burning, we absolutely have to understand how forest ecosystems will respond to increased carbon dioxide. If we get that calculation slightly wrong, then our projections of what future climate will look like, what, our, what world we will have to inhabit, will be quite substantially wrong.